Star Citizen Alpha 3.20 has started to have its features revealed on the roadmap. So we're going to take a look at that, but also Jump Town 2.1, the dynamic event, which has been improved and updated, is coming to the live servers on the 5th of May. We will talk about these things and, and discuss them. That's what talking is. Star Citizen Alpha 3.18 is already out to wave to PTU, and Cloud Imperium have confirmed that the RSI Lynx luxury touring rover is ready for 3.19's live build as well, or at least it will be ready. They've committed it on the roadmap is what I'm telling you. So yeah, this is the sort of luxury touring version of the Urza rover that comes with the Constellation Phoenix, but you'll be able to get it separately as well. 3.19, Fleet Week, looking really good. More importantly, at least for this video, Clan Imperium have now released information about their 3.20 patch. Yes, 3.20 is a thing and something that's going to be coming before 4.0, strangely enough. So Star Citizen now for 3.20 is planned for the Q3 release, so roughly at the end of Q3, so September time, maybe mid-October time, we're looking to see 3.20, and I say mid-October because um, they often release it with CitizenCon, or around CitizenCon, uh, that sort of Q3 patch. So they've revealed a few features for this. Ship trespass. The interior of players' ships are now considered trespass zones for those without permission to enter. Permission will be granted via the party system until more complex systems for managing crew and passengers are created. Players trespassing aboard a ship can be attacked by the owner of the ship and any player in their party without fear of committing a crime. So the mission feature team are going to be working on that. It'll be interesting to see exactly how that works with soft deaths. So... I, sh I shoot your ship, I blow it up. Is it still a trespass zone for me to go on that ship um, if you're defending it still, effectively? But yeah, I, I think it's absolutely great. So that will give you the um, ability to fight off um, people that have sort of snuck in your ship. It's nice to be able to deal with stowaways. And it's also good that Cloud Imperium are acknowledging that they want that permission system in the future that will allow you to go, these people are allowed on my ship and in these areas, these doors use these systems. And people that aren't part of that list, well, they could potentially be trespassers. We do know that Cloud Imperium had said something like, well, you can at any time say, anyone that's not part of the ship, you have to get off within this certain amount of time. Otherwise, you become a trespasser. That would be in the case of, like, if you're running a Banu merchantman and people on board, but you go, no, I don't want anyone on board anymore. Or I want, to, I've left port and anyone that's stuck away pretending to be a customer um, or hiding away well if you don't get off in a couple of minutes then you're knowingly going to be trespassing a new mission now for 3.20 retrieve consignment a new mission type where players are tasked to locate critical items in a consignment list and then extract them safely and i believe that this is the mission that Cloud Imperium have previously been talking about that's going to be using the Siege of Orison platforms again, the, the islands there. I'm not sure on the scale of the mission. I'm not sure if it's um, something that is basically a public mission or if it's going to be just a group mission, but uh, we know that you'll basically be going to a platform and there's going to be a load of valuable high-tech gear there that the Nine Tails have sort of locked down or, or trying to steal or whatever, and you're trying to extract those packages from that area and it's going to be relatively dangerous. Um, I think you'll be able to fly your ships in there. I don't think it's got sort of like the same level of air defense that the Siege of Orison had. It's not marked as a dynamic event here, so I'm expecting a smaller scale like the sort of um, clear the buildings missions at the platforms on Orison. I think we can expect there to be waves of enemies that keep on coming down or um, sort of assaulting. At least that's my sort of expectation for that event. You'll be able to fly your ship there basically loaded up with the um, containers once you've actually found them. Maybe um, you have to open them up by um, taking out some of the high-ranking um, sort of bosses on the island, which then gives you codes, things like that. But I am very much looking forward to that. Something I'm very much looking forward to as well is the Misk Hull Sea, which looks to be part of 3.20. So this gets the actual Hull Sea, that heavy cargo hauler, into game. It also suggests to me that it's likely the Cloud Imperium will be further improving the tractor beam tech. We could potentially see ship scale tractor beams here and expansions to the cargo refactor, sort of improving the cargo experience even more. We don't know that for a fact or anything. That is just what I'm expecting or what I'm hoping for. So beyond that, we don't know much more. Cloud Imperium will start giving us more and more of the features that are planned for 3.20 as they know them and as they um, sort of complete more of their schedule in the coming weeks. 
We also have Jump Down 2.1 debuting on the 5th of May. So that's this Friday. Jump Down is reopening its doors once again this weekend, but you might notice a few key differences from the last time you visited. We've upgraded the Jump Down dynamic event further with a myriad of improvements. These new labs have a totally redesigned interior, reimagined as a circular floor plan that conveniently comes with fewer doors, making for better sight lines and shooting lanes. A second dispenser can also be found for more expedient drug production. The entire operation has doubled in size with a second entrance and multiple windows and skylights to make ambushes hard to come by for those hunkered down inside as well as those attempting a breach from outside. So yeah, Jump Down 2.1 kicks off at 4 p.m. UTC on the 5th of May and will be running until 8 p.m. UTC on the 9th of May with the locations of the drug labs rotating every 24 hours from the three locations that they can appear in. Keep an eye out for more details on Jump Town going live alongside the event. I suspect there's some more stuff going on with that. So Clan Imperium have confirmed that that's going to be on the live servers because we know that obviously 3.19's on Wave 2 PTU. So I'd originally thought, oh, they're running it in the PTU, but then... Actually, it's on the live server, so assumedly that's going to be 3.18.2, unless some sort of magic happens and they release 3.19 to live. And we don't live in a magical world. Uh, so now, 3.18.2 has had a couple of little hotfixes, and Xenothreat is no longer running, so it's in a better place than it was. So yeah, maybe 3.18.2 is in an okay state to run it. I don't know until it's actually being run. It's just, it's annoying. 3.19 is in a really good state at the moment, at least from when I uh, briefly played it. Pretty pretty stable. A load of the problems that I have with 3.18 and 3.18.2 are solved now in 3.19. I suppose that's sort of irrelevant. If you want to jump in and help test that new version of Jump Town 2.1, then yeah, do it over this weekend. It should be a good laugh. Hopefully it's not too much of a buggy experience. I'm much more looking forward to um, things like Xenothreat, Siege of Orison, and this running on 3.19 in the future. The improvements that Clan Imperium have made to Jump Town 2.1 on paper sound great because, yeah, you're going to be able to um, sort of fight over that facility much more in an interesting way without sort of like entirely locking it down internally with no one being able to breach it without assaulting it with bombs. Um, and that is still going to be an issue. How powerful is that A2 going to be probably still pretty powerful. There are ways to take them out before they sort of drop a bomb or sort of um, ram you or whatever. Um, so bear that in mind. And um, you can do that with various ground vehicles and um, even the rail guns, things like that, and, sh and obviously ships and torpedoes. I don't know how protected people are going to be in the buildings um, when those bombs drop as well. If you're totally fine in there, great. And if it's over a much larger scale and those bombs, when they hit you, they don't destroy every ship around the area, then maybe that's, maybe that's going to be a bit better. We'll have to wait and see. What I sort of want to see is base defences, potentially that are manually um, usable or even just automatically um, just fire at non-friendly sort of vehicles in the future. That's going back to the permission system almost again. In fact, I really like that idea. Bam, we've we've turned up at jump down. We've um, taken over the turrets and the defences, and now they're going to shoot people that try and approach us by air, or maybe they just defend from from um, missiles and torps and bombs and things like that. Something like that, I think would be great for the event, because then people have to sort you on the ground and land a little bit further away, and that makes for a much more interesting game, or at least variety in gameplay, in, in, in my opinion. But I'm interested to know what you think. Are you excited for Alpha 3.20? What ex else do you expect to see in that patch? Are you going to be participating in Jump Town 2.1 on the live servers, or are you jumping in with 3.20? 19 on the PTU servers. Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Give a man a fish and he'll eat for a day, but give him a NordVPN subscription using nordvpn.com slash boardgamer or the links below, and he'll browse the internet more safely and with greater accessibility for a lifetime, or at least until his subscription ends. He can then shop for his own fish from places like Tesco's, Walmart, or Asda or something. It also makes a fantastic gift. Next time you go to a dinner party or a wedding, bring them a NordVPN subscription. Bam! You'll be the talk of the town, and it's certainly better than bringing a fish. Please remember to like and subscribe, and if you'd like to go further to support the channel, then use that join button under my videos or the Patreon links below. That would be amazing. It goes a long way to helping Zin and I be able to create daily videos, and you'll get some exclusive perks, including some videos, posts, and polls to help guide the channel.
Every month we have a ship giveaway. For May, it's for an Origin 400i, the luxury exploration touring ship capable of taking three crew to distant stars. It also comes with lifetime insurance and a Star Citizen game package. To be in for a chance of winning that, just comment on any of my videos made during the month. More details down below. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the verse.